Your Majesty, wake up! I wouldn't want to disturb you for all the world, but you have a visitor. Indeed, this must be a matter of unusual importance. Why else would someone apply siege engines to knock upon the castle gates? In any case, I should think we are obliged by the laws of common decency to give our guest a fitting welcome. With crossbows and ballistas! Your Majesty! The army of the vile Sir Foxwald has set up camp somewhere on the edge of the forest. Our scouts report that their army will strike this very afternoon. There is little we can do for the moment but wait and bolster our defenses. Enemy units will arrive in waves from the fortress. Your Majesty, we must build towers to protect the castle and our people. As we have but a short time before the first enemy troops arrive, allow me to instruct Your Majesty in the basics of tower construction. Use the camera control buttons or move the cursor to the edge of the screen to move the camera in any direction. Hold down the rotate camera button to turn the camera left and right. You can use the camera height buttons to zoom in or out. The grid is very useful for positioning towers. Press the grid button to toggle the grid. The grid indicates where you can build a tower and the passages that your units can take. Every field marked on the grid is passable for your units and those of your enemy. You can build towers on the green fields. You cannot build towers on the red fields. Red fields decorated with shield icons are safe zones. Every base is surrounded by a safe zone. Safe zones cannot be occupied by any other force. Only the owner of the base can build towers within these areas. White fields decorated with tower icons are also suitable to build towers on, but until they are green, they do not belong to your territory. To increase your territory, you must build towers on green fields. A new tower increases your territory by four fields in every direction around the tower. Click on a green field to build a tower. You can use the arrow buttons to navigate between the towers. Build a spear thrower tower by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Build two more towers, here and here. To view the range of a tower, navigate the cursor over that tower. Excellent! Naturally, nothing of value is without cost. Every tower requires gold. Its value can be seen in the tower menu under the tower. Its cost is deducted from the royal treasury when the tower is built. Your coffers are constantly replenished until the treasury reaches its maximum. Alas, this is a rather slow process. There is also a much more effective way to collect money. Destroying enemy soldiers. Every vanquished enemy increases your current wealth by an amount depending on the strength of the unit. Look, Your Majesty! An enemy force is heading our way! To receive information about an enemy unit or tower, click on it with the Inspect button. All you must do is hold out until our armies are ready to launch a counterattack. Build towers as you see fit and protect the royal castle for two minutes. Press the fast forward button to accelerate time. On every level, there is a limit to the number of towers we can construct.
Excellent, your majesty! Our armies are ready for the counterattack! To destroy the enemy base, we must take it with our soldiers. Our troops can only move across the fields indicated by the grid, and will travel along the shortest route towards the enemy castle. They cannot pass through towers, so they shall have to go around them. You must create a wave of soldiers and send them forth to take the enemy castle. You can place any available unit in a wave in any order you choose. Initially, there can be only five units in a wave, but later this size can be increased to ten. Press the right mouse button to open the management menu and select the unit management button to assemble a wave. To add a guardsman to the wave, click on that unit with the left mouse button. Click on the unit multiple times to place several such units into the wave. If you would like to place different kinds of units in a wave, simply click on another unit with the left mouse button. Double clicking on a unit will fill the entire wave with the selected unit. You can use the arrow buttons to navigate between units. When your wave is ready, click on the Send button to send them forth against the enemy base. When your wave is ready, click on the send button to send them forth against the enemy base. Excellent! The number of units available at any given time is indicated by a counter. If the counter reaches its maximum, you cannot send forth any more troops until the present ones are destroyed or they reach the enemy castle. Press the Hit Points button to toggle your Hit Points bar. Press the Hit Points button again to toggle your enemy's Hit Points bar. Press the Hit Points button once more to turn off the Hit Points bar. Excellent, Your Majesty! Now it is time we strike back at Sir Foxwald. Send units into the enemy's castle until it is destroyed. Good work, Your Majesty!
perhaps we should pay our respects at Sir Foxwall's castle. Don't you think, my lord? Since he sent us such a fine array of guests, it is only fitting that we return the favor. <laughs>